quiet evening underway right now here in Des Moines and elsewhere across the state. We do have some heat. We've also got some storms. The storms are tomorrow. They'll be scattered about. We've had just a couple linger into this evening, but tomorrow's probably the best chance in the next few days. Thursday and Friday will be drier for the most part, but the temperature will be gradually ramping up on our way to probably some 90s feeling like 100 plus readings coming up this weekend. At this point, the evening is still pretty nice. We got up to 85 here in the Des Moines Metro earlier, pretty close to normal. Now we're in the upper 70s and it is mostly calm out there. There's those last couple of showers and there were a couple of rumbles out in western and northwest Iowa lingering and dying off into this evening. Clouds still holding on off to the east. There's what's left to barrel still spinning around, circulating, produced some severe weather earlier on over parts of the Ohio River Valley and pushing a lot of rain through those parts of the country and up towards the Great Lakes. That's that circulation. Here, this little dash black line is the little weak wave of energy that's going to basically zip straight south towards Iowa here late tonight and into tomorrow. That's our rain chance for tomorrow. And then way out west, there's a whole bunch of heat out over the Great Basin and the West Coast. Those parts of the country are still working with temperatures in the 90s to even 100 degree readings at this point in the evening. Granted, the sun's still, you know, not quite down just there yet. But look where our winds are coming from here on the backside of Barrel. That's why we are, the heat is still at bay out to the west. We've got a breeze coming from the north, or this is higher up in the atmosphere, out of the north to northeast, cooler direction off the Great Lakes. But that changes once Barrel leaves and goes off to the east. The atmosphere sort of unplugs. Things get going from the west again and the heat builds in by later this week into the weekend. All those hot colors spill eastward over the Rocky Mountains and into the Great Plains and here into Iowa. So there's where we go by Saturday and Sunday. Highs in the mid 90s. Heat index values in the gold numbers towards the 100 to 105 degree range. Even as soon as Friday, we might be pretty close to 90. Some parts of the state will make it there. Next couple of days, though, are still going to be pretty close to average. Now, in terms of rainfall timing here, as soon as tomorrow morning, parts of northern Iowa could see a couple of scattered or maybe more isolated showers, and then we'll pop up a few scattered thunderstorms as we go through the day. Notice scattered is the word. It's not widespread. Now we're all getting wet at once. We'll keep that chance of rain then going through the afternoon afternoon and even into the evening tomorrow. Most of this activity not severe, but some scattered brief heavy downpours on places that unfortunately are still a little bit too wet as of late. And then by the time we get towards about this time tomorrow night, 10, 11 o'clock midnight, we should wrap that up and then we'll be drier the rest of the week. Start to build that heat up in terms of rainfall chances after tomorrow. They're pretty small, sporadic sort of ones. We've got a couple little possibilities Friday into Saturday, maybe early next week here too, but the main story will be that kind of smothering heat that gets on in here. 90s start this weekend, probably last into early next week, and a whole bunch of humidity to make it feel even hotter than that. Oh, okay.